freaking love this shirt, man. I wear this shirt all the time in these reviews. I guess I'm just gonna keep wearing it. Do y'all care about what I wear? Greetings again, everyone. My name is Chet. This here is Chet Chet, and we have another movie to talk about. And this kind of, the shirt actually kind of matches, I guess. So we actually saw another anime movie. I saw it a while back, but I just wanted to talk about it now. And that movie is called A Silent Voice. You know, coming fresh out of the gates of your name the anime movie which i reviewed and a few other an anime movies that came out this year i feel like this is a really anime movie heavy year i'm actually gonna watch another anime movie in a couple of weeks from now so you'll be seeing that too coming out of your name which is probably one of the best movies i've seen all year period i had really really high expectations for silent voice even though i didn't know anything about it i didn't know who the director was or anything i just had expectations for this movie and i was completely let down <laughs> first things first i'm kind of confused a silent voice when the movie started it says shape of a voice and i thought they were just like you know quoting some reference so i don't know if the movie's called shape of a voice or a silent voice or there's probably a japanese name for it whatever besides the point that doesn't matter what matters is why do i not like this movie honestly i feel like this movie is purely preference based or connection based depending on how you connect with this movie will dictate how you enjoy this movie for me i connected on zero of the themes in the movie well let, let's talk about the plot a little bit here. The main plot of the movie is that there's this girl who has hearing disability. She's deaf for all intents and purposes. She could hear a little bit. She gets hearing aids and she joins this new class and this kid who was part of like, you know, I guess a bad crowd. He starts picking on this girl to the point that the parent ends up complaining and the kid gets in trouble. And then the kid kind of rats out the rest of his friends. So then they start picking on the kid who was initially picking on the deaf girl. He has a really, really troubled childhood. And then fast forward to what, I think 11th grade or high school, you see him try to do something and he ends up trying to reconnect with that, that deaf girl and try to be her friend and try to redeem himself by, you know, by being her friend. And that's pretty much the basis of this movie. Going through all of that, like that childhood and that that high school life and the characters and how the characters are and the development of the characters, all of those things are what drive this movie to be good for someone or bad for someone. I wasn't a bully in my younger years all throughout uh, elementary school, intermediate school, and high school. I didn't connect on that level. And then just the way how the characters are developed later and how they don't know who they are and they're trying to find themselves. It's like they try, they have like a hard time just dealing with social aspects in, the, in their world. And I felt like even though I didn't know who I was and I didn't figure out how to be happy with myself until recently, I always try to fit in and I did end up fitting in in high school so I didn't really have a problem making friends and just you know having regular social interactions of course I'm still the biggest nerd and it's like can't talk to girls I'm pathetic <laughs> but other than that I, I didn't really connect with that level of anxiety um, not having friends being a social outcast in high school or in elementary or intermediate school so I didn't really connect on that aspect so me not connecting on that aspect I have to watch I have to sit back and watch these characters go through these emotions and see if it is at least interesting to me or eye-opening to me and there were certain parts in the movie where i was thinking i was like so this is how it's like for someone who is trying to make friends but they have social anxieties that will prevent them from making friends see how little i'm talking about how the deaf girl interacts throughout the movie i feel like that is just the gimmick of the movie like yeah you have a deaf girl and you go through all the deaf girl stuff like you know i feel terrible saying it but it's a gimmick in a movie the girl she actually tries to speak and she can't speak properly because like you know she doesn't know how she's sounding that is a normal thing that deaf people will go through and it kind of tugs at the heartstrings a little bit because she's adorable but other than that those are just gimmicks like the motions of going through the difficulties of someone being deaf is a gimmick for a movie but the thing that takes the main stage is the main character dealing with his social anxiety and his quest for redemption from being a spoiled brat when he was a kid the really 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 interesting part about the movie though is that you get to see the world through the character the main character's eyes he doesn't redeem himself so he's still angry about himself he he thinks he doesn't deserve happiness and pretty much blocks everyone out. So when you see him walk out into the world, everyone has an X on their face. As in, he shouldn't interact with them, so he's not even going to look them in the face. So it's cool, like, you, you'll see him go to school, everybody has an X on their face, you don't see the characters' faces clearly. But then, as 
the plot goes on, you'll see X's start dropping from people's faces. And those are people he can actually interact with. So that's a cool thing about the movie. That's what kind of kept me going to see how the character progressed. But other than that, there wasn't really much else going for the movie. I felt like there wasn't even a conflict. There's a conflict, there's a conflict resolution, but there's no buildup. There's no pacing. It's just every day there's something happening and time passes and this happens and then ultimately something happens and they have a conflict resolution. And you're like, I'm just sitting here and you guys are living your life. This is supposed to be a story. I don't know, like, I feel weird saying that. Like, yeah, I shouldn't dictate what a movie should do for you. But at the end of the day, you're there to be entertained or connect emotionally to, to something. But there's nothing for me in this movie. So I don't know if it's a bad movie. It's more like I didn't connect with the movie. I didn't really, I understood exactly what was going on, but it didn't, but it didn't really get into me in the same emotional way that your name did, or it didn't make me think about anything really too in depth. At the end of the day, I just kind of walked out the theater and I was like, oh, okay, that was fine, I guess. Do I recommend Silent Voice? Of course I do. I definitely recommend it, especially if you like anime and you're into that stuff. Maybe you'll connect to it. I'm sure there are people who cried and I'm sure there are people who will definitely connect with the characters and what they went through because I've witnessed those people. I've seen those people who have social anxieties. I've witnessed people who don't have friends. I, I witnessed people who go through all those things. And I'm not saying like, oh, I'm so great. I had friends. I just, I've literally tried to have friends. Like I didn't value value myself that much to the point that I can be happy with myself. So I actually tried to have friends and I did have friends and I enjoyed having my friends in high school. I'm not going to say that it was just a facade or anything. And I loved my friends. I had a good time in high school. So the fact that I, I didn't have that life makes me not really enjoy this movie that much. So yeah, I guess that's it for this downer review. I'll see you guys next time. Like the video if you liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs down if you didn't like it. And if you really liked the video, you could go ahead and subscribe to these videos and we'll talk more about anime and movies and other things. And we'll just keep this channel going hopefully. And hopefully I don't get depressed by doing the channel or something. I'll see y'all next time, damn it. Jesus.